hey guys so i do plan on doing like a what i got for christmas video i don't know i keep going back and forth about it because it's been a tough year for a lot of people you guys let me know if you think it's not appropriate if i should do it i didn't get that much anyway um you know i just did a, i did way less exchanges this year than i've done in any other year to be honest with you like i usually give to my brother and we usually do a secret santa of my family and this year me and my brother decided not to give to each other just focus on our parents and this year my this year my family decided not to do a secret santa like between all the cousins and stuff so it's not a lot but i figured i would show what i got but i did figure i would at least show this gift because it's it's gonna have its own video because it is gonna be a lot it is kind of like an advent calendar it's 15 days of socks uh he gave it to me as a christmas present i have a friend who loves socks he has like a huge sock collection he collects them uh he's really into he has a lot of interests uh video games and pokemon and nba he loves basketball so he has socks with his favorite basketball players he has socks with his favorite um uh, I was gonna say favorite Pikachu characters, his favorite Pokemon characters. He has socks with his favorite football teams, basketball teams. He has socks with his favorite video games. So socks is definitely his thing, and he gives me socks almost every year. I think because it's something that interests him. He likes to do that for somebody else, and it's always a themed sock. Um, he knows I like Nightmare Before Christmas. He's given me Nightmare Before Christmas socks. He also knows I do like Pokemon. I like Pikachu and Eevee and Charmander. So he's given me that too, and movies that I like, and you know, like Friends and Golden Girls and stuff like that. And uh, this year he thought he'd give me like a little 15 days of socks. So I thought it's really cute so it does just open right here and i did just open day one just because i was curious if it was a crew sock or an ankle sock so as you can see um what you see on the outside is not match the sock well i guess it kind of does you guys will see what i mean but it's kind of just to show you what theme it is because there are three different themes there's hocus pocus there's haunted mansion and then there's a nightmare before christmas so this one's if you see the little door it says welcome foolish mortals and it has the two characters so that is what's on the sock not the two characters but the welcome foolish mortals with the eyes so that was day one and i opened it there just to kind of see like i said if it was an ankle sock or not so now i'm just going to open the rest in front of you guys so two is definitely hocus pocus i think it goes down in a row you guys can tell the whole first row is haunted mansion the whole second row is hocus pocus and the whole third row is night before christmas so we have sarah sanderson here and i definitely it's definitely her on the sock and it follows the same color theme you have like this orangey red with sarah sanderson and it says let's see it's folded so i gotta kind of unfold it I don't know if this is one of her spells because I don't even know what this says. Famuk, famuk, famuk. I don't even know if that's appropriate to say. Amuk. Oh, I was thinking that was F I. Amuk, amuk, amuk. So, and then it's. She. I, I, I think she's holding like a little mini cauldron or like a spell vial and it's kind of like a cartoon cartoony version of her really cute so that is day two i'm just gonna keep it in here just to keep it kind of neat until i put my socks away i have to declutter my drawers for sure i'm doing a whole deep clean this week because i'm on vacation till january 4th i am starting 2021 on an organized purged clean foot <laughs> so the third day is going to be nightmare before christmas it says all hail the pumpkin king which is jack skeleton and that's literally what it is you have jack skeleton on the sock and it literally says all hail the pumpkin king so it uh, obviously does kind of go with what's on the outside this one matched exactly the other two did have a little bit of a different style so let's see day four haunted mansion open up our little door here and from the little picture, you see the character inside of a globe. Like a fortune teller's globe or something like that. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never seen Haunted Mansion. I've seen the other two. But I've never seen no to socks. So, and these are really cute. I love the, the concept and the little characters. I love Hocus Pocus and I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Haunted Mansion, like I've seen the one with Eddie Murphy. But I think this is like a cartoon version because it's like cartoon characters so i didn't know there was a haunt there was a cartoon version of it um the next one is hocus pocus and it is 
one of the Sanderson sisters. I used to know their names. I know Sarah Sanderson and Mary Sanderson. What's this one? Why is B coming to me? You guys are like screaming at me on the screen right now. <laughs> I'll look it up after. Uh, I love the little trim. I love purple. Um, you have her little character holding a spell book. Let me see what it says on here, if it's what it says on the side. Another glorious morning makes me sick. Yep, and that's literally what it says. Another glorious morning makes me sick. Number six is Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's zero. It is uh, Jack Skeleton's Ghost Dog. Oh, see, this one doesn't match. Like This one's like a very muted green. But look at this. This is like a full-on bright greenish lemon lime yellow. But it is just zero. Has his name. And it has a cute little picture of him on there. With the bats. I love the lime green yellow. All right. Let's see. So that's day six. We're on to day seven. Which again is Haunted Mansion. And you see a character holding a lantern. And a shovel. Looks like he's in some kind of graveyard. He has ghosts and he has a dog with him. Let's see if it's the same. So this is kind of like a muted grayish blue. And over here it's a wicked nice and bright blue. I love it. And yep, it's the same little cartoon character. And yep, he's at the cemetery. You can tell because the tombstone. He's holding his little lantern. He has his shovel. So it does match the exact outside. Except the outside there's a doggy. The sock there isn't. But I love the colors. Next one is Hocus Pocus. I put a spell on you with the cat. Let's see if it matches. This one's opening really easily for the most part. My God, if you guys saw my Hogwarts advent calendar. I did it on Instagram on my stories. I always link it down below if you guys want to follow. I do a lot on there. But I am thinking about doing a whole video so you can see what I got in that one as well. I love advent calendars. And that one was cheap. It was only $16.99. There's some really expensive advent calendars out there. And yes, it literally just says I put a spell on you. And it has a little kitty cat. And I love purple. My favorite color. I'm gonna guess this was out for Halloween but I am loving it so I am happy to receive it and then we have I don't remember their names but I know they're brothers and sisters and um they're in Nightmare Before Christmas they cause a lot of havoc so yeah it's literally just them again it's like more of a muted green here but it's more of a bright green here which I really like no good and it shows the three characters and they are up to no good they kidnap Santa Claus. Rude children. The next one is Haunted Mansion. And it says, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. And it's literally three hitchhiking ghosts. They're holding a little suitcase with their little thumb up. That's funny. And yeah, that's literally what it is. The black background. And the ghosts are in that same like bluish color. Super cute. And the same saying, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. All right, we're on day 11. And it is one of the Sanderson sisters. I think that's the one that's Mary. Sarah is always easy to remember because her real name in real life is Sarah Jessica Parker. But yeah, I know for sure this one's Mary. It's the middle one, the like the most well-known one that's played by Bette Midler. I can't think. That's probably why I'm thinking it's a B because her real name is Bette Midler. But I can't think of what the character's name is. But anyway, so it's that same orange and it says, so uh, this one just says 11. It doesn't say what it says on the sock. But the sock says, trouble is brewing. Oh, she is so cute as a cartoon. I love the little cartoon versions of these. The next one is not beautiful Christmas. Can't think of his name, but it's that ghost dude that tries to kill Santa, eat Santa. I guess that's the same thing. I don't know. And, oh, that's a wicked nice bright yellow, too. What is this? It says roll the dice because he tries to gamble with Santa for his life. I remember that. Just watched not that long ago. Halloween was two months ago. And, yeah, it says roll the dice. And it has his little character. I really like the colors on these socks. Like, I love that muted green and then the bright yellow green and the purple dice. So, and I love socks. I lose socks. I might dryer eat socks. I don't know what happens. Every... 
few months I throw away whatever one I don't have a matching pair to anymore so it's always good to replenish my socks and I got 15 new socks and considering this was Halloween I'm sure he got it on some kind of sale he's smart um this one is Haunted Mansion and it just looks like a clock like a grandfather clock and it says tomb sweet tomb like home sweet home and you see like portraits but it's of ghosts so let's open it this one is a purple based sock love purple this one's more like a lavender purple which is super cute i seriously love the color of these socks and yeah same thing you have the portraits of the ghosts you have the tomb sweet tomb i say the only difference is this one doesn't have the grandfather clock but i love that color so now we are on day 14 and it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus let's see if it matches so the hocus pocus was really cute you get one of each character you get one of the cat with i put a spell on you and then you get it's just a bunch of hocus pocus and i would have to say of the three this one is definitely my favorite of the three movies and i love it's just like the classic halloween colors purple orange and black you have the candle being lit which is the whole like how the whole thing gets started in hocus pocus and then last one number 15 is sally from nightmare before christmas and yeah it looks just like that yep it just instead of this one does have a saying which it doesn't say on the door it says queen of screams i've actually never heard of that it does not say that in the movie uh because i don't think it like ever shows in the movie if they officially get together um jack skeleton is always called the king of um the pumpkin king but queen of screams that's really cute and i love love this bright purple i love even the stitching it definitely goes with her i've even thought about being sally one year i forgot what store had it in plus size must have been torrid i don't know but uh, i've never been her yet one of these days one of these years i wasn't anybody this year i've been day of the dead i've been jessica rabbit i've been a lot of interesting costumes i've also shared those on my instagram i did some throwbacks so definitely consider following me if you like it but i thought this was a really cute set and it's really functional sometimes advent calendars can get some really random things i know my harry potter one is pretty functional it's all like stationary items there was some random stickers i think i only went to day seven and then i stopped filming because it was supposed to be like an instagram thing I had promised on my stories and then Instagram blocked me and I couldn't post for a week and then I was pissed off. So I maybe I'll do the rest on camera for YouTube. But this is what I got for my 15 days of socks. It says it's a unisex socks size 9 to 11. Uh, shoe size 4 to 10. And these are all no-show socks. I didn't even have to open it because now I realize in the back it was there. And he left the price on it. But I don't know if that's what he paid. $24.99. 15 days Disney Halloween. Maybe not, because maybe it was cheaper for Christmas. I mean, after, after Halloween, I mean. Um, whether you pay 25 or less, I really don't care. I don't care what someone spends, but the concept was really cute. Actually, where he, that's how actually most of where he gets his socks, except the NBA and football ones. Uh, but, like, all his Pokemon socks, all his video game socks is from GameStop. And I know they're not that cheap, uh, because it is, like, licensed. And that's where he's gotten me. He's gotten me a pack of Nightmare Before Christmas and a pack of Pokemon from there. But this is the first time I've ever seen this i didn't even know gamestop had this i haven't been to gamestop in a while so i haven't been to stores that much in general unless it's a grocery store at dollar tree so on that note i do lots of dollar tree hauls <laughs> i do lots of store hauls uh any store i shop at walmart target i am thinking of doing some like after christmas sale hauls um so if hauls is definitely your thing unboxing is definitely a thing i have tons of boxes behind me so definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you're notified when i upload definitely consider following me on instagram i always link it down below post on there almost every day i do a lot of quick things on my stories but that is basically it guys i hope you guys had a great christmas and have a happy new year i know i'm definitely ready for 2021 i don't have huge expectations for it but i feel like it has to be better than this year i hope uh if not at least we know kind of what to expect and we're not going into it as blind as we were before uh, i wish you all a lot of health and safety and blessings in the new year and that's it be safe guys